Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video it's going to be Hamza vs Chameleon. Yeah, you can upload your video unlisted on YouTube and send me the link and I will download it and will comment it and upload it on my channel. When you are one of my memberships then I will do that for you. That's one part uh, of that what I'm doing for my memberships. Support generates support. Thank you Hamza for this fight and yeah, let's go Here we see the container collection Very good run from Hamza. He got the most containers here Lost only one on the left side up And there he's going Yeah Rasps coming out Coyote Some riflemans and he will try to pick up the big container here very nice. Chameleon was there with a hammer. Don't really try to get to the big container. So it is for Hamza. Now he tried to kill some of Chameleon's units here with the Rasp. He's going forward. I will also say what I think about the fight, about the mistakes. What I must say here, I'm not sure why he ran with all units inside the space. He lost Rasp, he lost the Coyotes and he lose all Riflemans. It would be better to use this Riflemans, scatter it out, hide it in the forest all over the map. Also the Rasp could be used to kill some of the units, but um, I would use only one Coyote to scout out the base and that's it and save the rest of my units. But that's only a small mistake, but it would save, let's say, 500 resources we lost here in that um, containers, uh, uh, base scouting. Yeah, he's going for hawks, jaguars, porcupines. Chameleon have some bird tags out, killed his hawk. Nicely done. And now we will retreat. So, I'm just going for Chameleon. Special little factory level 3. And just started his unit production. So, yeah, you see it here, now we have no more riflemans. He uh, lost all in that scout. And in this map it's good to have them, to see what the Vertex are doing. Or maybe Tor, or you see also other important things when he's coming with his land units. <coughs> okay. Scouted him out again. And now he's going forward. The first chameleon is out. Chameleon will go for Tors here. And here have two recall factories for Zeus, Typhoon and Shield as well. Chameleon is also a very experienced player. Also Hamza know how to do it well. A very strong resistance player. So he's going forward, and here I red boost, scared about the vertex, yeah, they hit hard, also a lot of porcupines, can't defend yourself against them sometimes. So, still non-stop units in production. Some anti-air towers in the base. Chameleon turned on. And now he will try his first attack. Chameleon is there with some Zeus already. Oh come on, put this porcupines in the background. Go in the background with your porcupines. 
Good. Save your porcupines. Nice. Now he is in a good position. Ooh, the enemy have Tor. Boom. <laughs> nice force fire here from Chameleon. He lost not one single Zeus. Resistance is in bar. Next Chameleon is out. Yeah, that is an old battle. You see it here are still the Christmas toys. Try to get it. Try to get the Christmas toys. Come on, save your Chameleons here, man. Okay, you got the shield, very nice. Controls this chameleon here very well. Manually switch to the position of it to make it more difficult for a chameleon to hit it. So the first tour is falling down. Still non-stop units in production. So Chameleon got the Christmas toy here, bad for Hamza, but that's no advantage in the fight. Just a toy what he lost. So nice. The trap was the hawk for the vertex and he was there with the air raid boost and his porcupines. Very nicely did. You need tricks like this with the resistance to take advantage over the confederation player and his overpowered air units. So and still non-stops units in production here. Yeah, and very well he changed the position of his army all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. Sending all the hawks and let's try to look what the enemy is doing. He's still force firing here. Here's the Rotex. He got it with the porcupines. Did you see it again? He will change the position because he now with the Rotex he scouted all to the location where his units are and he could use maybe a tour to attack them. So our race hit and run, that's what you have to do with the resistance. One hit from Tors can be very dangerous, that can kill your whole army here. So... It looks like he will split out his units in two different groups. still non-stop units in production. So common points are full right now. And he got two land armies here. So we will send out his hawks again. Chameleon is doing nothing right now. I don't know what is his plan. Good hit on the shield. We'll try to get it out. We have to be careful. Anti-air raid boost. Nice, he got the shield. He got it. Yeah, but the Vertex is still alive. Power of the Vertex. It would be better to save the Hawks right now in the base. He will lose his Hawks and he will not do much damage with them. So, very nice. 
did some hits on the Zeus here. Retreat. Another group in position. Oh, and Chameleon nailed it. He nailed it. What a great hit with the Tor. He nailed. He will retreat his units. A very lucky strike. But look what he's doing right now. The control is not that fine, but he used the advantage from the resistance, the speed from the Jaguars. The recall scout boost to make them faster. Very nice. And all now Zeus are slow. Zeus are slow and this is an open map. It's very difficult here for the confederation to bunker up. Good that we have some maps like this where base camping is not possible. <laughs> In a map with a narrow way it would be impossible to do something like that. But also the resistance need an advantage when the units are weak like they are. <laughs> And he's doing very well. Now he's going forward with the other group. Destroyed all airfields here. And he's hit and run. Hit and run. Another group's going forward right here. The third group. He's taking out the factories. Very nice. And Chameleon is in trouble right now. He is in trouble. He got also the recall factory, last airfield, and now run, run away, run, don't stay there, don't fight his Zeus, don't do that, left side, come on, good boy, run, no chance with the small group, okay. Good. At this point he did a mistake. Um, it would be fine now to use this group here to attack him from the front, from the other side. His units are now here. He could do more damage so. Oh, leave that position. That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. Walks out. Oh, he's going on the shield. Very nice. Come on, now use your other army to attack him from the other side. Very good. And he's going forward. He's going forward. Nice. He did a lot of damage in Chameleon's base. It would be better to go away with this army and save them and go later back to attack when the Chameleon have refilled the energy. But okay, he did a lot of damage. He used the advantage of the speed very well. Control could, could be a bit better. I would use those porcupines in the background. The uh, machine gun would be not able to fire, but it's better to save them. But on that point, well, he have not much aviation left. He don't really need these porcupines right now. He have only his two tours, so it's okay to use the Machine gun power of the porcupines. Nice job. Nice job. Ooh, he's hunting the tours. He's hunting the tours. Very nice. Again, switch the position of his army. Very nice. And Chameleon is in trouble here. You have no anti-air systems in the base against the Hawks. No Vertex left there. It's 
time to say GG. I see no way for Chameleon to come back in a battle right here. If only some Zeus left, the shield factory is destroyed. And he's outnumbered and in a bad position right now. All units have a lot of damage. And when I'm looking at the minimap, I see Hamza have the next group on the other side for another attack. Yeah, this troll will not help longer. There's no more ray. He's using it great. The speed from the resistance, the change of the position all the time. And that's it. Chameleon give up. GG Hamza, you used the crate here. You used the map, you used the speed. Nice battle. What you think guys? Leave a comment under this video, subscribe the channel. And when you are also one of my members, send me your video when you want it on my channel. Bye, we see us in the next time.